So hi, yeah, I'm Trevor, and I'm not here to talk about cloud stuff. I'm here to talk about this project that I love, this open source project called GoBot. Um, I put some stickers out in the front because you need stickers, and if we run out, I'll add even more stickers. They're in the sticker zone. They're the only stickers that aren't SolarWinds stickers. Um, so we haven't had enough buzzwords yet, and so I thought I would drop one in. IoT. What is IoT? Um, well, like anything else, uh, you ask Wikipedia, Wikipedia will give you some kind of answer. It might be right, it might not be right. Um, I think of IoT as being things that have IP addresses that are not actually computers or phones or tablets. Um, and, you know, that could be right, that could be wrong. One of the great things and horrible things about IoT is nobody can really define it, right? Um, it could mean whatever you want, which is why the estimates of the number of worldwide IoT devices vary so widely. Uh, I think it was in 2000, I believe it was IBM, that said that, like, by 2020, there would be a trillion IoT devices, um, which was hilarious. It was like every child born of woman will have, like, 25 things in their pocket that are all talking to the Internet all the time. Um, and that's not true. That hasn't, that hasn't come to pass. Depending on how you define IoT, um, we're looking at, by 2020, something between 9 and 15 billion of these little things out there, um, whether it's your TV that can tweet or your uh, toaster that has a Bluetooth connection um, or even something real, like a, some kind of flow controller inside a pipeline that keeps sewage from bursting out all over the place. Um, but it's real. There's a lot of cool stuff out there that's networked and that is talking, and we can do things with them. But um, I want to talk today about a cool thing written in Go for controlling all sorts of things, whether it's actual things that have IP addresses or just other toys and sort of weird little objects, um, single board computers, things like that. It's called GoBot. It's a project that's dear to my heart. I, uh, I got into Go, actually, because I wanted to have an easier way to program my Raspberry Pi. Uh, does anybody in here have a Raspberry Pi or something like a Raspberry Pi? Okay, so a few people, right? Yeah, single board computers are lots of fun. I have like way too many of them. I don't do enough with them. Um, seems to be the thing. But yeah, so GoBot is a fun way to control all sorts of stuff. I highly recommend you go check it out at gobot.io. Um, it's abstractions for, for toys, for buses, for boards. Uh, you can control really serious things like inter-integrated circuits or I2C, um, and you can control um, strange things like neuroskies. Have anybody ever seen those? It's like this weird headset that you wear that like reads your brain waves and helps you, I don't know, meditate or become rich or something like that. Um, and they're out there. And then there's also um, spheros and drones. Um, but you can do things with Bluetooth. You can do all sorts of stuff. It's basically this big grab bag of electronic controlling stuff. Um, including drivers for GPIO, analog, things like that. It's got this cool robot abstraction so that you can um, kind of set up a bunch of different things that something could do, and then you can even talk over a, um, a web server and like tell your, you know, your drone to go answer your IoT doorbell or whatever, right, when the UPS man comes. So right here is a picture of this crazy guy, Ron Evans, who's a GoBot maintainer. Um, a couple years ago, this, this project got a lot of press in places like vice.com and wired.com. And, uh, Ron is there, I think, trying to put like a Nerf cannon on the top of a, of a Sphero um, Ollie, and that's the kind of thing that he likes to do. So these are the, some of the types of things that you can control with it. Um, Raspberry Pi, an R-Drone, NeuroSky, Pebble Watch. Um, this thing down here, I've never gotten to try, but I've always wanted to. Has anybody actually tried a Leap Motion? It's like this weird box you plug into your computer, and then you can like wave your hands over it and, and use it as like an alternative mouse. Yeah? Okay. Some people have looked at it. All right. Um, so you can control one of those if you ever wanted to, like, I don't even know what you would do, like program this thing to do stuff without your hands in front of it. I'm not sure. I, I need to go look at the driver, actually. But my favorite thing to program with is, is single board computers. So for those of you who have Raspberry Pis, I'm just I'm curious, what's the way that you program these, if you actually program these? you write Python or C, C++, Go? Python. Python, yeah. Right. Well, so if you if you're putting if you're doing something with Python or you're doing something with um, Ruby or God forbid Node.js on one of these, um, you're stuck like actually putting all these dependencies onto the box, right? Onto I say box, but onto the credit card size computer, and um, that can be a royal royal pain. Especially actually compiling things on ARM can take like forever. Um, I, I compiled a serial driver on there for Ruby, and um, I was able to like make and eat an omelet in the time that it took for that to happen. And um, that's not cool. And uh, Go is like the super serious language made at Google, and it's used to make like Docker and Kubernetes and all this other stuff. And um, I was just trying to use it to blink LEDs. And so I, I took it, and I realized, hey, I can, I can just compile this. It's completely static. And I'll just I'll figure out how to 
secure shell into my Raspberry Pi and just sort of copy it. And it's that one thing, and it just works. Like whatever I wrote, I can cross compile on my Mac or my whatever and just drop it on the board, and it's great. So you can do all kinds of stuff with it. You can control your, your GPIO pins and your I2C buses and um, you know, build whatever you want to. Imagination runs well. Um, so Gobot has this HTTP API, which is really fun, like I said, because you can like run a little web server on your Raspberry Pi, and then um, you know from your home computer you can say Gobot run, and it'll it'll blink the LED and impress your mom, and it's it's lots of fun. Um, I know we've all been talking about things like Prometheus and Docker and whatnot that are that are written in Go. I don't we haven't really shown any Go code yet. Um, if you've never written any Go, don't be afraid of it. It's really easy. Um, it looks sort of like a cross between C and Python. It's very easy to pick up. So here, this is how we do the proverbial hello world of any IoT, which is to just blink a LED with your Raspberry Pi. Um, so we just pull some stuff in, we grab the Raspberry Pi adapter, and we say, this is the pin my LED is on, pin number seven, LED toggle, turn it on. And you could put it in a loop and turn it off again if you want to get real fancy. Um, and I don't know if anybody's uh, ever seen this movie. This comes from this little thing called Star Wars. And um, this, this guy was like this beach ball that could move around and be angry and everybody loved him. Um, and the people from Gobot actually made, uh, the maintainer, Ron Evans, his company actually made the SDK that Sphero used to run this thing. Um, so this is a little BB-8 drone that you can, you can buy. And what we've got code right here to make it just roll on a random heading, um, which is a lot of fun if you have a, a small child at home. Um, I, my, my daughter gave me just endless hilarity because she didn't quite understand that, that my Sphero was not like a, an a animal that she should, she was like, Daddy, it's getting away. And uh, she would sort of chase it around the house. I'd drive, and I was like, no, honey, I'm driving it. She's like, no, I got it, I got it here. And she'd bring it back to me, and, and I was like, no, just leave it alone, and we'll let it drive. Um, but this is really fun because you can freak people out and make it roll on a random heading. Uh, but it's just that easy to control toys, drones, um, fun things that roll, Star Wars toys, et cetera, et cetera. So I highly recommend you check it out, gobot.io. Uh, wouldn't be a conference without die cut stickers. Plenty of stickers out there. I'll put even more. Put them on your notebooks and uh, have fun. Thanks.